<laughs> this was the groundbreaking ceremony for the proposed Lona Kiplagat Sports Academy in early 2012. Fast forward one and a half years later and the athletics track is set to be complete. The Tatan track was delayed at the port of Mombasa for eight months until the Ministry of Sports secured a duty waiver. Its laying is now the piece of work left to finalize the athletics facility. For Lona Kiplagat, the brains behind the project, it is a major milestone on the way to realizing a bigger dream. We are trying to be nice by setting the pace, but we are also calling upon the government to come in and, uh, and you know, chip in with some money and then we, we can regulate with the member federations on how they can use the facility. The partnership Kiplagat is talking about is one she was in Nairobi Tuesday morning to announce alongside Cabinet Secretary for Sports Hassan Wario. The partnership is one Secretary Wario hopes will give rise to many more private sports institutions. This is in order to help sportsmen and women access facilities that will help them improve their talents. We are drafting and uh, finalizing an MOU of future engagement with Lona and we are very keen on that so that other athletes around that area can have access. Is there a way in which the government can ensure that access happens? For athletes, the track that will be completed in three weeks' time is a welcome relief. Where the, the track is situated is where there are a lot of uh, concentration of athletes in our uh, region. That is in the central drift. And uh, we are seeing this one as a, as a relief because we've seen our athletes training on those uh, muddy uh, grounds and uh, they've been having a lot of injuries. The Lona Kiplagat Sports Academy will also host football, volleyball, basketball and tennis facilities. Heads of federations are hopeful access will be organized for the various sports upon completion. Once it's ready, it will be accessible. It should not be like Kasarani. Kasarani is a beautiful hall, but uh, inaccessible to our athletes because it's very expensive. There are more than 1,000 athletes at any one moment in the running up and down. But they have had no facility to go for what we call their conditioning. There's nothing in that part of the world. So we thank Lona for that. And I hope the usage of it will be easy, of course, through the participation by the government. For Lona, hope carries her in this journey of setting up the Sports Academy. I believe in endurance. I'm a marathon runner, unfortunately. So even if anything doesn't happen or any sponsors doesn't come in, we'll keep on pushing. We'll keep on, um, we'll keep on uh, being positive and we'll definitely the dream at the end will be realized. With one phase nearing completion, Kiplagat and her backers are excited for the start of the remaining phases as her dream facility takes shape. Maureen Wende, Citizen Sports.